Right, let's start with foundation. I'd start off round your nose area, but as you're working outwards, by the time you get to the outer sides of the outer edges, it should be so thin that there's almost nothing right. there at all. I just want you to try a little bit of foundation. So you won't need all of that to start with. So take a bit at a time, then you can work with it, and it's Unless much it's easier. More. Definitely. Okay, so mascara next. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Hold it under other roots. Move side to side slightly, now zigzag out. And there we go, perfect. Wow. There you go. What do you think? I think it's amazing. It's emphasised the fact that your skin's looking so good. It hasn't covered up all the work you've done no, on it. No. Um, your eyes have just been brought out, but just very, very simply. Yeah. And um, I think you look fantastic. Eileen's looking older because of the redness. Helping her to get her skin in tip-top condition is going to make her look a lot younger. But she needs Lisa. Eileen's an easy one. She needs to see a dermatologist to help with the broken capillaries and just calm the whole red face situation down. Secondly, she needs a skincare regime, something that's really just for her skin type. And finally, makeup. She needs a five-minute makeup routine. She is going to look like a model. I think her skin tone is getting better and better. The thread veins have dramatically improved as shown with filtered photography. Remember, this is the woman who doesn't do makeup, but her skin's now ready for Lisa's five minute makeup lesson. So, luckily, those days of um, stripy green chalk have gone. This is something that is a primer which has some green in. It blends into the skin. So on top of your moisturiser, and then just smooth in. This is the perfect makeup base specially formulated for red skin. So the next level would be a mineral powder foundation. Okay. And it's just very light buffing action. This is good for your skin because it's 100% mineral. Because it's a powder, it's so easy to use. This light powder absorbs unwanted shine and once on should last all day. Okay, so to finish off, I'm going to use a plumping lip gloss. This will keep your lips nice and moisturised. Okay. But it'll plump them up a little bit so it'll look kind of sexy. <laughs> Let's imagine you off to work. Quick, quick, quick. Gosh, no redness at all. No redness. The new Eileen. Mmm. And that should not take you any more than five minutes. This just shows get the foundation right and the rest will follow. And with that in mind, here's Lisa's top tips for choosing foundation. Now a general rule is make sure your foundation looks as natural and as real as possible. So you want to be going for the sheerer textures. The right formulation for your skin type is key. And if you've got oily or combination skin, you want to look out for formulations that are oil free, so they're not gonna make you look shiny. For pigmented skin, there are some great new formulations available that will not only cover it, but will also help to fade it and stop any new pigmentation from forming. And for those with dry skin... You need to look for foundations that are going to give you the glow back. So really nice, rich, moisturising and hydrating formulations are going to work best for you. Denise is like a rough diamond. She's got all of the raw materials. I just need to get in there and polish her up. I think with some treatment, she's going to look and feel fantastic and really sexy again. She's going to look the best she's looked in years. But dragging her back from the brink without a knife in sight is makeup artist to the stars, Lisa Eldridge. Without a shadow of a doubt, we are going to bring back the sexy diva Denise. To lift and tighten Denise's skin, she's going to have two types of radio frequency. This is a bit like a non-surgical facelift. Then she's going to have some laser treatment. This is to address the broken capillaries she has on her cheeks. She's then going to have intense vitamin treatments. And A-list makeup artist Lisa Eldridge knows just what to look for. If your skin's looking a little bit dull, look for moisturisers that contain vitamin C. Vitamin C will help to even out your skin and just give it a brighter appearance and just a fresher look. The new buzzword is caffeine. When caffeine's used in eye creams, it effectively constricts the blood vessels and this in turn reduces puffiness. 
If your skin's dry and very dehydrated, look for hyaluronic acid. It'll really help to hydrate and plump up your skin and lips. Denise wants to glam up her great-looking skin. The trouble is, she's not got a clue. I'd like to learn to use makeup properly and make sure that, you know, I can do it right, cos I've no idea. Well, that's all about to change in a lesson with Lisa, starting with foundation. The main thing, Denise, with foundation is just don't cake it on. You want to look completely natural. Have a little go of that for me. Let me put some more on. There you go. So downwards, mm -hmm. just working the colour in. That's it. Good. And what does this do, then? This, this is just going to even out your skin tone. Mm. See? If you don't want to use a sponge, use your fingers or a brush. Whatever works best for you. So I'm going to use a cream eyeshadow, which is quite a dark colour. But I'm just using this really close to the lashes. You almost don't lose contact with the skin. As we age, eyebrows become finer. So to look younger, pencil them back in. So feel how soft the, these are the strokes you want. No more than that. None of this. No. I've wrong, realized wrong, that. wrong, wrong, wrong. And then brushing that in. You can see how soft that effect is compared yeah. to that. Right, I've learned that. That's a good lesson. And what about young, luscious lips? I'm going to use a lip brush to apply the lipstick. And why do you use a lip brush? I'm it just goes on much it. easier and it's going to last a lot longer. Right. And also, when you use a lip brush, you can get away with coming a little bit outside the line of the natural lips. I'm going to make them look a little bit fuller. Now, that's good for colour, but we want a bit of gloss. Matte lips tend to look a bit smaller. So by adding a little bit of shine, your lips are going to look that much fuller. What do you think? You've took years off me. <laughs> <laughs> so the type of products Fanola is using contain really concentrated ingredients, things like very strong glycolic acids and lactic acids and stronger antioxidants. They just have a far more concentrated, higher dose of the active ingredients. So they tend to work quicker and you need to use less. We're a nation of makeup junkies spending a whopping £1 billion a year on this stuff. So our Lisa's challenging the ladies to a good old clear out. I'm on a mission to rummage through a few makeup bags. I think I'm going to find grimy sponges, filthy brushes, and overcrowded bags. Ooh, that, that's horrific. <laughs> Can you see already the oil? Yep. Uh -huh. It's hardening on there because. The oil from your skin is just gathering in there. And how long has that been long ago? Five months. It's yeah. a kind of rave for bacteria going on in there. So that has got to go. Wash your dirty applicators once a week. That is dried out mm. and it's gone off. Can you smell it? Oh, yeah. It's completely rancid. Change your mascara every three to four months. Ooh, that needs a wash. Does that get washed ever? No. Do you know how to wash brushes? <laughs> just get a little bit of shampoo, so just whatever your shampoo you use. Put your shampoo in the palm of your hand, right. wash that round, rinse it, and just leave it overnight just to dry naturally. Okay. Pop it back in, and not only will it feel nicer and look nicer, but it'll be more effective. And if it's beyond help, throw it out. Oh, my God! <laughs> what is that? That was my concealer. No way. This is a disaster. I think we need wipes. Nurse, wipes, please. <laughs> With smoky eyes, the best thing to do is have the concentration of the deep colour close to the lashes and then have it fade less and less as it goes up, so you end up with this lovely cloud of colour all around the eyes. We're getting more eye for our money. That is the secret of good makeup. Mm. So you've got lots of these things anyway in your makeup bag. You I just know, never yes. really knew how to use them. So let's have another look back in that bag. <laughs> have to have a route and see. <laughs> yes. So don't worry, ladies. Lisa's going to prove you only need five products and five minutes for great everyday makeup. Excuse me. You don't look like you're wearing any makeup today. No, not today. What about a five-minute makeover? Okay, yeah, that's Come right. On. 
got a very concentrated concealer, yeah. you only need a very tiny amount of it. Just be very choosy about where you put it. But I think the overall impression is a much more even skin. This is just a tinted lip balm, so it's going to feel really nice on your skin. Really nice. So it's literally mascara, tinted moisturiser, powder, blusher, lip gloss. Five things, five minutes. Makeup artist to the stars, Lisa Eldridge, reckons she can do it all without a knife in sight. I'd like to introduce Betty to a dermatologist that will give her some laser treatment, some peels and freshen up her skin. You do wear eyeshadow sometimes? Um, yes, occasionally. What colour is it? It's um, Spring Wedding. Pastels. Oh, they've got to go. <laughs> <laughs> Contours drop as you get older. Yeah. So what we do is we cheat and we put socket lines back in. Oh, good. But we do it by um, sneakily applying some shadow to the area where the socket used to be. So you look straight ahead into a mirror. Yes. And you apply it where you can actually see you've got your socket line there. Just to get a marker yeah. on where you'd like the colour to be. So, Betty, this is all theory, but let's put it into practice. I want you to shade in your socket line for me. Very good. Don't go too far out. We don't want to drag the eye down, so don't go sort of further out than that. That's good. How's it different to how you normally do well, it? Well, normally I'd be squeezing my eyes and I'd be right close up. I usually put the mirror on the windowsill and go on my knees and then I'm right up to the... like that. <laughs> no, right. Betty, you can't be going on your knees. You need to get a little chair or something. Yeah. Can I show yeah. you a good way of putting the colour on? Yes. When you do... to make it really soft... Oh, circle. Do circles and then do some straights and then... Mix in circles so that you're getting it into the socket line, but you're also blending it on the outside as well. <laughs> wow! The power of makeup, hey? I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>